Welcome ladies and gentlemen to another video. So third and final one, um, I've recorded them all in one night, but um, it, it didn't take too long. It's the editing part that I'm more worried about. Anyway, um, today we are looking at the Kulturan human allied race. Um, it's something which I'm not looking forward to as much as the Zendrolay trolls, but from Alliance point of view, great. I'm really looking forward to it. the amount of time that Blizzard and Ian have said that they've put into the cold Tyrans with modeling and things like that um on a serious note is something that i am looking forward to and if they get it wrong it will put my trust in in the in the blizzard team it will diminish that because telling us that they've put a lot of time in them into them and that's why they've taken such a long time to come out is something which okay i understand but if they if they don't work or they're broken when they come out i'll, I'll be a little bit disappointed um, I, I I don't like the fact that we've waited such a long time for them, um, but I understand that there are some things behind them, behind that, behind the reason for that, if that makes sense. But anyway, enough about getting annoyed at Blizz. I'm fed up with getting annoyed about Blizz. Hopefully they do something right. So unlocking the race, um, just like the uh, Zendalari Trolls, obviously you have to have Battle for Azeroth purchase, you have Exalted storyline um and storylines uh on the on both war campaign and main storylines uh 110 character boom we've done that before now the available classes um obviously i think they're roughly the same as the zendalari troll apart from one which is the paladin so they are be able to they are able to be um druids hunters mages monks priests rogues shamans and obviously warriors um uh let's read through this because this is a little bit about the druids so the culture and human allied race can be druids which draw upon their magic from the drust Ulfar, the last drust, drust thorn speakers, teaches the inhabitants of Cold who wishes who who wish to learn the ancient ways, while the followers of Gold. Golrak, oh, Golrak tool use dark magic. Ulfa explains that in trust magic, life and death are different parts of the cycle of nature. The, so the thorn speakers have also split from the rest of the trust. Okay, that's that's pretty cool from a law point of view. I didn't know that, um, but I kind of did know that because the way they look. But anyway, again, I have looked all through all this before, so don't. Don't feel like I am actually um, surprised, but that I haven't read, so that is quite interesting. Um, so, just like again, the Zendalari Troll, um, they have a starting pet. Uh, this is the Falcon. Um, again, I'm not, I'm not overly excited about it. I wasn't excited about the Zendalari pet, and I'm not really excited about this. It's, it's a bird. Um, yay, I guess. I don't play hunters. I hate hunters, and this is. This is practically why, because um, they get awful pets apart from like two. Um, why can't I train a Tuscar? That's all I'm asking. Anyway, um, so yeah, that's the pet. So on to what everybody wants to see, and that's the druid form, so the bear. Um, I think this is great. I think it's unbelievable, and I like the fact that they are wooden. Um, they have that wooden effect. One that kind of brings it that kind of earthen effect from um, the druids themselves. I really like that um, and it is very much like Drustfire. If you've leveled through and you've seen that area, that is what Drustfire is about. I'd have to say they are practically on the same level as the um, turtles for the Zendalari Troll. Again, I know that might come to a surprise. I really love the Zendalari Troll, but wow, look at the amount of time that has been put into this. I feel like a lot more time was put into this form, art-wise, than the Zendalari. Um, I think it looks great. Uh, the cat form, again, kind of looks like a cat or a wolf. Maybe it's a wolf because that tail does not look like a cat. But anyway, um, again, it's a cat form. <sighs> it looks okay, I guess. Um, it has the same effect for the legs and the face as the uh, as the as the bear had. So there's nothing different there. So yeah, it's all right. Um, I think it's actually better than the uh, Zendalari troll uh, Zendalari form. But hey, uh, the travel form now. It is just a deer or a stag. However, I think it looks really cool. I know it's just the same practically as the other other races travels form like the night elf, but it is a little bit different. Um, it won't beat the moose on on um, 
it won't beat the moose on the high mountain but eh, eh, it's all right do i like it as much as the zanalori form actually yeah i think i think i actually do um i might actually change my mind i think that i, I think the uh culture and human forms are better than a zanalori um so yeah uh the aquatic form ah it was going so well um yeah it's a seal with massive tusks or fangs Meh, it's okay again the wooden effect is pretty cool Meh. um by the way that form there wow i like that um definitely the travel form is much much better than the uh zendelaris um i like this um this is obviously a bird of some sort i don't know exactly vulture it looks like a vulture kind of um again i think that's better I've made it. I've made the decision. The Coltir and Human uh, Druid forms are much better than the old uh, Zendelari. Apart from apart from the Aquatic one, I think the Aquatic one on the Zendelari is much much better. But these these are great. Uh, they're very very druidy, and I like that. I like the fact that there's a kind of grass and things like that. I think it's one of the most druidy things that I've seen. Obviously, the skulls don't really match, but eh, I think I like it. I actually do really really like it. Um, the Moonkin form. Hmm. It's a dead moonkin. I like the horns. Same on the normal moonkin. Uh, the problem is, I like the other one better. I like the Zendelari one better, but I think I like the walk animation on this one better than the Zendelari one, so they sorted it out. Eh. Again, it's alright. I like it. Um, incarnation. Eh, again, just a bit glowy. It's bog standard, really. Now the totems, much better. 100%. 100% they are much better than the Zendelari totems. Um, I like the wooden effect. I like the different use of materials. Um, yeah, I just think they look great. I don't think they look as good as the um, Margar Orc ones or the High Mountain uh, High Mountain Torrent Shaman ones. But again, I think they're 10 out of 10. I think they're much, much better than the Zendelari ones. Um, okay, so racials. Um, haven't, really looked, haven't really looked at the racials for the Zen, uh, for the Colterans. Um so these this will be new for me. So, um, Haymaker, uh, wind up and unleash your might upon your foe, dealing twenty. That, obviously, that's going to be different. Uh, stu and stunning for three seconds and knocking them back. Stunning for three seconds. Um, yeah, two minutes. Yeah, it's all right, I guess. It's a stun. Um. Stunning for... Okay, so I presume that that's an instant and it just stuns for three seconds. Yeah, that's all right. It's another stun, PvP, world PvP. That'd be great. Um, brush it off. Increases versatility by 1%. When you take damage, heal for 2% of that amount over four seconds. Eh, okay, that could be useful. 2%, I know it doesn't sound a lot, but that 2% could be the difference between life and death. Um, Child of the Sea, hold your breath for 50% longer and swim 10% faster. That's good, especially what's coming up next. A shower and stuff. Um, yeah, I really, really like that. Um, the 50% longer seems like a very long time, but the 10%... See, if that was the other way around, if they'd give us 10% holding your breath and 50% faster, that would have been great. Um, I wonder if that probably cancels out all of the amounts, but who knows? Who knows? Um, Jack of all trades, passive, increases your trade skills by 5 um, I presume that's your professions by five. Um, yeah, by five, great. Yeah, we already have tools that do that, so yeah, that's. I suppose it's all right if you're willing to start something off fast. Um, rhyme of ancient marina reduces f frost and nature ja damage taken by one percent. Yeah, see, that is a nice trait. And again, it's only one percent, so it's not great, but yeah, it's it's a good trait. I like that. Um, the heritage armor. What can I say? It is, it's amazing. Um, all you pirate lovers out there, great. You're going to love it. Um, rogues, again, if you're playing Outlaw, I think you're going to love it. It's, it's piratey. That's all I can really say. But from a from a British point of view, um, I love it. I love it. It reminds me of history classes. Um, and, and it's great. I love it. Um, the mounts. Now, I'm disappointed. But I expected it. So I'm not disappointed. I'm just expect. I uh, just... Yeah, it's not a surprise for me. It's a horse. Um, <laughs> that's pretty much it. It's just an armoured horse. Yes, I like the new horse model, but and I like the armour on it, I guess. Am I really excited for it? 
no, unfortunately not. Um, and both for the Zendalari and the Coulter and humans, I'm, I'm not really excited about it. Um, so the customizations down here, um, I'm going to scroll past this and let you guys take a look. Uh, I think some things have been made differently. So that's facial hair, facial style, skins. Because if I remember correctly, I watched a video and they said that there weren't that many... Uh, oh, God, hold me, skip through this quickly. Um, uh, there wasn't that many faces. Um, it looks like... Eh, yeah, I like the customization options, I guess. Uh, would have been nice if we had the the thin form but obviously not jokes and flirts again like last time we'll skip past this you guys i will leave the link below so you guys can look at this another time and the dances again the backstory um obviously if you played the uh the backstory with the cold and you would have already known um if not take the time to read through this pause it whatever um but let's just quickly uh read the last bit here because i think it's a little bit important so after the events of the battle of Dazara law Kultiris officially pledges their support to the Alliance. Jaina commissions a fine naval ship led by her brother Tandrid Proudmoor as a gift to Anduin Rin to symbolise the support of Kultiris. Now, as you guys may have known, or should know, the Horde have had a lot of choices um, throughout the last couple of patches and things like that, and choices that will change the outcome, hopefully, in a quest line you do actually get a choice here you get to choose the name of the ship um i can't remember what they are but we'll have a look um and yeah a nice little choice do i think it's going to impact things greatly no but i suppose it's given the alliance the same thing as the horde because they all bitch and moan about it anyway um but that's pretty much it so i haven't picked a class for the cult Tyrans yet um but like i said i'm doing a warrior on my Zendalari troll i have been on the wowhead dressing room and i don't think any i've looked through practically every single set i don't like them the only set that suits them is their heritage armor um but let's have a, let's, let's go back and have a quick look on what they can be so they can be druids i like the druids but my high mind are druid um mage i have a dwarven mage but that could be pretty cool uh, rogue, they're big and bulky. A rogue doesn't really work, does it? Priest, monk already have. Uh, shaman, obviously already have. Um, and warrior, I'm going to I'm going to have. However, that hunter. Now I don't like hunters, but I don't like culture and humans. So I wonder what happens if I put two of the things I don't like together. Hmm. It's one to ponder on. It's one to ponder on. Um, and it's one where I might have a look. I might have a look. Hmm. Anyway, I will keep you guys updated on my decision. But thank you very, very much for watching. If you guys want to see more videos like this, then please remember to hit subscribe. And if you like this video or if it helped you out a little bit, remember to hit that like button. If you have any questions or would like to correct me on a few things, then please use that comment box, comment box below. Um, but again, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next.